Okay, th this fly is the is a Denny Rickard seal bugger, uh, olive seal bugger, with a burnt orange tail tied on a number six 4x long hook. Okay. Okay, we're going to use olive brown thread. Down a thread base here. Uh, burnt orange. Burn orange marabou. I'm strip half this off here. Put a little moisture on there to line those up. Okay, we want the uh, tail to be the same length as the uh, shank, hook shank. Put it on here. Mark where I want it and change hands. We'll tie that down. Pulling the tail a little bit to you to avoid the thread torque from wrapping the marabou around the hook. We want to leave a nice even base, so we're going to tie the marabou all the way to the front. This, uh, we're going to put a little bit of tinsel, a little tinsel on each side of this fly. This is an orange flashaboo. Match the tail. We'll put a strip down each side of the, the fly. We're going to use an orange, dyed orange grizzly hackle. This is, in this fly, we're going to. We're going to attach the feather to the dubbing loop. We're going to tie the fly with the dubbing loop body, and we're going to attach the feather to the dubbing loop. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to peel the whole bottom bottom of this feather bottom of this feather off. You need uh, six to seven inches of feather and a six to seven inch dubbing loop. Now what we're, the way we're going to attach this feather is, we're going to attach it to the fly, sticking up straight up. So. Okay, now we're going to form a dubbing loop. Approximately six to seven inches long. Okay, we have a dubbing loop tool that has a little weight on the end. We're going to uh, this dubbing loop, and we're going to tie this fly with dark olive seal fur. Seal fur, a little tough to find. Take small amounts of seal fur like this. We pull a thread apart, stick it into the dubbing loop like this. Here we go. Seal fur is very easy to work with. One of the funnest furs to use in a dubbing loop. It's very hard to find. Okay, now when we get the dubbing loop done, dubbing loop loop will look like this as we get ready to twist the dubbing loop. We don't pull the stuff out of it. Okay, we give the dubbing loop a spin. Give it a small spin. Now we're going to even it out. We have a couple of places that'll have a little bit too heavy, and we thin it out a little bit. Okay, now we're going to spin it again. 
Now we're going to take the feather that we've had and we're going to pull a feather down. We're going to attach the feather to the dubbing loop. Make sure you leave a quarter of an inch spacing in the feather between the feather and the loop because the feather will not stretch but the dubbing loop will get shorter. Okay, now we pull it tight and we twist. Get this tinsel out of there. Tinsel wants to hide. There we go. Now that's a wire, right? The tinsel wants to get caught in there. Okay, we're going to twist these two together now. Now we have a dubbing loop with the feather in it. Looks like this. Now we're just going to wind the feather forward. Tie that off. And we're going to clip this off. Make sure you get that tied down so it doesn't come loose. We can trim this. Trim the head. Okay, and we'll pull this back. We're going to make a head on here. Okay, before you do the whip finish, give this bobbin and counterclockwise spin. Do a whip finish. Now we can take the, uh, with that feather in there, we're going to take a brush. We're going to brush the, the dubbing out. The feather is protected now. There's no wire in the fly. <laughs> We brush the hackle back. Well, just a little bit of whip finish on there, a little head cement on the whip finish. And the fly is done. It's a, a Denny Rickard seal bugger, olive with orange. Hey,